morning, you guys. I am quite tired, honestly. Um, I am on my way to work right now. Get off from 10 to 6. Okay, from 10 to 6. Um, I just want to get on here. Today will be day one of my fast, so that means no secular music I believe working out which I will do when I get off of work at least run uh, two miles a day will be my target goal watch out vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead um, which will be my goal well four days uh, four days out the week running two miles um, and also eating greens and if I'm, I'm not sure if I'm forgetting something, but that's what, and I am fasting for clarity. Um, I'm getting ready to go on a mission trip in exactly 22 days. So I'll probably vlog and count down up until then. Um, yeah, yesterday I was speaking about just being more mindful, being a little bit more mindful about everything that I have going on. I am grateful for all, everybody that who has been supporting me, who has donated money for me to uh, be able to go on this mission trip without having to rob Peter to pay Paul, as my mother would say. <laughs> um, I'm just so grateful that God has equipped me even with a job, you know, that can afford this mission trip. So I'm just really grateful and thankful for um, all the help and all the love I've been receiving. Excuse me. Um, I'm really grateful for that. And uh, just, I just feel overjoyed. Yesterday, I was, I was feeling entitled. I wouldn't even say entitled, but I wasn't being humble. I said I wasn't being humble um, because there's a lot of things that I know that I don't deserve, and God's mercy comes in and just saves me. So I just want to take a moment and just thank God for His mercy and His grace. Um, I don't know where I would be without it. I'm just really, really thankful for that because there's a lot of things that um, God put in place for me that I don't acknowledge, um, that I don't deserve, that I have not worked for. So I just want to thank God for that and um, loving me and still continuously, who excuse me, just meeting me where I'm at, just absolutely meeting me where I'm at. Um, I think that's one of my favorite thing about my father is he meets me exactly where I'm at. He knows exactly what I need, even if, even when I don't know what to ask for. Um, so I thank him for that. Also, I will be uh, seeing about more orders for my shirts. I need bigger sizes um, and my classic white, pure white protein has been selling out okay i need it i need to um restock on that one so shout out to everybody who has purchased actually purchased a tea um i want i said this and i probably will keep saying it but i just want whatever i put my um my hands to be an experience to be a touch point for god um that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much my secret right there having whatever I put my hands, hands to be a touch point for God, uh, to transparency, and just to, to live out um, your truth. Um, moving on, but yeah, more about my mission trip. I, I have raised, I think, like 900 some dollars, and the goal is 1500 so that has knocked off a tremendous amount um, to help me go on this trip. And to be honest, <laughs> um, I'm one of the I'm one of the people 
that do not like asking for help from anybody um i grew up having the financial support of my mom and my dad so you know i never felt the need to excuse me ask anybody for anything i was just asked always ask my mom and dad and work it out between us and then if my brother um has a job i'll ask my brother he literally will get me anything that i want um so i never just felt the need to uh just ask people for certain things and sometimes that's a hindrance to me because you can block your blessings and god has shown me that um people will pour into you if they police reported ahead if they believe in what you're doing people will um, pour into you pour into your vision or just pour into god's kingdom you know so i i really have been blessed by that um with asking and setting up my gofundme account i really really appreciate it people have donated that i don't even talk to every day or haven't talked to um at all so I just feel like I know that even on their their end, I feel like God put it on their heart heart to say, yes, I will support, and I want you to give this amount. So I just really just thank everybody who has given um, towards uh, my missionary my missionary work. It will not be the last uh, missionary trip that I go on. Or mission trip that I go on uh, I'm just very 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 blessed um, I'm the type of woman that you wouldn't know by looking at me that I actually really enjoy getting my hands dirty I really enjoy <laughs> I really enjoy um, direction like if you need help with something and you give me something to execute I am more than willing to get it done for you I don't mind it at all I actually think um, or I imagine like uh, kids young kids just going out to the park to play or going out um, to the playground or whatever and just playing in the dirt and using their imagination um, with the dirt you can make a castle with the dirt you can make mud pies with the dirt you can make a mess with the dirt anything but it's just like those innocence like kids are not ever scared or ever questioned to get their hands dirty they actually think it's pretty fun and mom and dad or whoever is uh the guardian at the time is upset because <clears throat> because they're focused on the mess the child has made or them being dirty Ooh, that's a whole sermon right there but anyways uh, I just imagine a kid a kid getting their hands dirty that's how I am I enjoy getting my hands dirty especially for a really good call so um, I just ask God to use me you know what he sees fit and I don't know a little backstory but I have been dying to go on a mission trip for so long but God told me in so many ways or or another that it just wasn't the time it's, it's not the time it's not the time i know you want to do this and you are going to do this but right now it's not the time it's not the time it's not the time um and it's a scripture that says god will i believe god will raise you up at, th at this appointed time or something at a, an appointed time and i feel like this is my appointed time to go on this mission trip and taste and see that he is good and how he's going to just um expanding the vision because i know my vision is going to be expanded on this trip how is it going to be expanding expanding i don't know and i don't want to um well everything from the lord is good uh however when yeah everything from the lord is good However, it's not always the yes that's good. Sometimes it's the no, it's not for you that's good. So I'm excited to see 
which in which manner he um it chooses to expand my mind something i did say i want to do uh according to my fast is also look up um evangelists evangelists in the bible who are the evangelists in the bible if you know any drop them down um but that's something i want to study uh during these 22 days up until whew, my mission trip but yeah, I, I also want to come up with a mantra. I'll probably sit sit down and write it um, when I have when I have time, I guess. I don't know if a mantra can be anything. But I guess today's mantra would be um, do everything as as if you are serving the Lord. So do everything with a good attitude. Um, know that God is moving on your behalf. You will give your all today. Um, you will be successful in giving your all today. And you will handle every situation with ease. So that's going to be today's mantra. I just like I said I really appreciate you guys and I will be uploading every day until I leave to go on my mission trip um, so yeah I'm excited I'm definitely excited um, I don't know if I should take you guys to the gym with me because I really just want to upload these videos back to back to back for you guys um, but I really hope you enjoy this message on this day um, I love 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 you all 